In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and you are watching Umar Linguistics. So in this video we shall look at five factors in the description of consonants. So this video is in English and the same video you can watch in Urdu or Hindi as well. So when we have to describe consonants, so there are five factors we can keep in mind while describing consonants or in the description of consonants. So these five factors are state of the vocal folds. What does it mean by the state of the vocal folds? When vocal folds are vibrating, so we'll say a sound is voiced. And when vocal folds are not vibrating, so we say the uh, sound is a voiceless. Then place of articulation in which we have to describe that where from uh, we are pr producing a sound. Uh, from which place in the... Uh, uh, in our mouth we are place uh, we are producing a sound whether it is bilabial when we are producing through our lips or it is a labiodental or it is a dent dental sound it, or it is alveolar post alveolar lateral sorry post alveolar palato alveolar or velar then we have central or lateral articulation what is the difference between center central or lateral articulation so central uh, articulation mean when the air is passing from the center of the mouth uh, when the lateral articulation mean the sound uh, involve air flow uh, in which air flow uh, is passing or air flow is going through the sides of the mouth as well or sides of the tongue and actually english has only one lateral sound and that is l L is the only lateral sound in English or in other words there is only one consonant which has lateral articulation as far as English is concerned and you can imagine this and you can practice it uh, just with me for example uh, just say the word like L I K E and while like just keep your tongue in the position of L L is alveolar so just say L L Keep your tongue in that position where we pronounce L and then keeping your tongue in that position breathe in breathe in with your mouth so keeping your tongue in that position L and now breathe in so you will feel that uh, uh, you will feel cool uh, cool air passing or rushing through your uh, tongue through your one side of the tongue either uh, left side of the tongue or either right side of the tongue when you keep your tongue in that position of l and breathe in with your mouth so actually this suggests that the air is passing through the sides of the tongue while while we produce l sound like all right so only one consonant in english will be placed in lateral articulation uh, but it it is it may be possible that in some accents of english or sim in other languages there may be more uh, sounds which have lateral articulation then we have the four factors soft palate is raised to form a velic velic closure or lowered to form a nasal sounds uh, i am just going to show you a picture to describe this and the fifth, uh, fifth factor is the manner of articulation we also have to describe that whether uh, the artic uh, the manner of articulation is fricative affricate or in other words lateral or it is approximate or it is liquid or it is glide so uh, i am now going to show you uh, the picture of this one when soft palate is raised so it form a valley closure and when it is lowered it form uh, a nasal sound so for example uh, just look at uh, this picture so it is our velum or soft palate uh, and uh, this is actually uh, the place of articulation uh, when we are producing this sound nasal sound my so while producing my sound at the beginning we have a nasal sound so velum is lowered actually and the air can pass through nasal cavity uh, then this is the example of ve uh, closure. so here uh, th the word is uh, pronounced uh, the, pron uh, the word which is pronounced it is by because in by we have no nasal sound so 
द वीलम इज रेज अगेंस्ट दिस वॉल ऑफ द फेरंग्स एंड नाउ द एयर विल पास ओनली थ्रू माउथ सो वी वी आल्सो हैव टू डिस्क्राइब दैट वेदर इन अ कॉन्सनेंट द वीलम इज रेज और द वीलम इज लोअर्ड ऑल राइट और इन अदर वर्ड द सॉफ्ट पैलेट इज रेज और सॉफ्ट पैलेट इज लोअर्ड सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट टू एग्जाम्पल्स टू वर्ड्स एंड वील डिस्क्राइब दैम इन रेफरेंस टू देयर Uh, these five factors so in sing we have two consonant one at the beginning and one at the end so first we'll describe this consonant sir so sir if we uh, uh, look at the first factor whether it is voiceless or voice so it is voiceless then the second factor uh, if we look at uh, its place of articulation so it is sir uh, is actually alveolar then if we look at the center uh, whether uh, it has central articulation or lateral articulation so it has central articulation as you will observe that the air will uh, stop at the alveolar position and then it passes through here then whether the soft palate is raised or soft palate is lowered so actually the soft palate is raised because it is not a nasal sound so there is a valic closure the fifth factor is uh, whether uh, what is the ma uh, manner of articulation so the manner of articulation for sir is uh, actually fricative however sometimes uh, sometimes uh, we may uh, we may left this fourth point as well as this third point sometimes and we can say voiceless alveolar fricative sometimes we may leave these two aspects as well when we have we are describing uh, those sounds which are actually oral sounds now uh, let's uh, us describe the last sound of this word which is this sound ing so first of all once again uh, it is not voiceless but it is voiced because the nasals are voiced sounds vocal folds are vibrating Uh, then if we describe the place of articulation so it is velar then if we describe the central or lateral articulation once again it is a central articulation it has then uh, if we describe uh, whether it is uh, soft palate is raised or lowered so soft palate is lowered then the last one Uh, whether it is uh, what is the manner of articulation of this sound so it is actually nasal or technically it is a nasal stop so while describing nasal sounds uh, we uh, cannot uh, skip this factor that the soft palate is lowered and but we may uh, skip this factor the third one and uh, we may say now voiced velar nasal stop and we have to describe this factor as well if we now describe this one this sound kill so if we say kh so kh is once again voiceless then the place of articulation is kh which is a velar or uh, then if we describe its uh, articulation once again it is a central articulation then if we uh, describe its uh, uh, what we say soft palate is actually uh, raised once again then uh, what is uh, the manner of articulation which is kh so it is actually stop or oral stop then if we describe this l sound so l is 
voice sounds so it is a voiced one then uh, its uh, place of articulation is actually alveolar then the articulation so it has lateral articulation as we described earlier then the soft palate is not raised but lowered so we must have to we must have to describe this factor while uh, saying uh, sorry not lowered but raised actually and then it is uh, not a stop but it is an approximant lateral approximant it is called lateral approximant so uh, this is all about five factors and how we can describe consonants so i hope you would you would have understood it don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you